engaging with the Safety Council members at all afternoon. Uh, this uh, South Sudan situation is a uh, uh, priority agenda. Thank you very Why much. Why were the gates Thank closed you. at WOW? Why are the gates still closed at WOW to Thank the you. IDPs? Will the Molokov report be released? Yeah, now you see how it operates. Now you see how it operates here. So there you have it. That's Ban Ki-moon, the head of the United Nations, with a prepared statement and apparently a prepared answer seemed, if you look at it closely, that the first answer was rehearsed. It was extremely articulate, and he knew what the question would be. But the question is, the UN has not, is not the solution to the problem. The UN closed its gates in WOW as people were killed outside and has refused to release the number of people that were killed. In the case of, the case of Malakal, where it let the government come in and kill IDPs inside the camp, the UN has released, refused to release its report. So the question, is more of this behavior the solution in South Sudan? No. Is, does, is this kind of set-up, scam, stakeout a, a solution? Not at all. The spokesman is part of it, too. The spokesman, in advance, in advance, pointed to the boom mic operator, who to, who to give the microphone to. Uh, well, are there particular countries that, that, that are being looked at in terms of providing additional peacekeepers to UNMIS? Well, um, we don't name names, but as you know, um, as I said, the regional countries are urged to be helpful. And uh, how it happens, of course, is yet to be seen. Any other questions? Any discussions of an, arms, of an actual arms embargo or of limiting the use of attack helicopters or other heavy weapons? I think tonight the discussion was centered on the immediate things, the immediate action. So that was a long time for a pretty uh, anodyne statement. Uh, Samantha Power on her way out said that regional countries were going to be asked to give peacekeepers. Uh, close viewers might wonder whether that includes Burundi, <laughs> where Mr. Lazus continues to accept peacekeepers charged with rape in the Central African Republic. It seemed like Honestly, there, there also seems to be a process going on in D.C. in which Bakasora and others are, uh, Soro and others are meeting with uh, U.S. officials, including Susan Rice. So we're going to continue to report on this, but that was what was said at the stakeout. And I think that will be the end, for now, of this. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, would they, thanks, I was about to turn off, but yeah, Ugandan peacekeepers. In fact, when they went in before, it was, it was uh, like pulling teeth to get them out. So I think... The idea that uh, just uh, recruit, rounding up more more peacekeepers uh, seems really a pretty irresponsible uh, response, especially from countries that shepherd the independence and that obviously have leverage and contacts that they're using in a way outside of the multilateral process. All right, I'm going to cut it there, though, and write a story on this. InnerCityPress.com. Chinese peacekeepers. Well, yeah. there were two uh, more peacekeepers who were injured this evening as we were talking. So and how? Top, that's this thing in the Chinese. Huh? How? Evidently, a major question. Huh? And I think one that calls for, um, uh, I think, a tentative conclusion that uh, command and control doesn't really work in that country. Thank you. Paul Mr. Malong. Has DPKO yeah. dealt with Paul Malong? was Hervé Latsous, the head of DPKO. Um, he said he has no casualty figures, which memos show to be false, untrue. He did say there were two more injured now beyond the Chinese. Inner City Press reported hours ago on seven injured Chinese, three to four critically. These are from unmissed memos, which presumably he has. Asked if DPKO has dealt with um, Paul Malong, Mr. Paul Malong. Uh, he did not answer, and we'll have more on that. As you see, there are too many arms there. Yeah. So I'm very time to time to think about it. Yeah. But do it in a way that uh, it's not uh, for some, not for others. It has to be a real. We need to, you know, to uh, you know, like the water. You need to take it out. There are too many, too many arms going around. That's why there are so many killings. Yeah. What about the use of attack helicopters? Do you think you could, you could? 
do something more precise on the use of particular kinds of weapons? Well, I think the very heavy arms have to be taken out. Have to be definitely, you know, uh, avoided. The, of course, for the you know, police and all the rest, you know, these are light arms, provided they are fully controlled. That's okay. Yeah. okay. Thanks trust in the blue flag of the UN and believe that that's going to offer some protection. So I'll know more after the meeting. Thank you. What about the role of Thank Paul Malone? Is he someone that should be sanctioned? He's the head of defense. Have you heard of seven injured Chinese peacekeepers? Three and four critically.